Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to discuss about how to write an automation testing resume, especially for the people who really want to switch from manual to automation. Right? We're going to discuss about the different resume guidelines. We'll discuss about the expectation from a zero to two years of experience whenever you're switching. Right? This video is applicable for freshers, manual as well as the experienced people. Even right? I'm going to show you a proper demo as well as my own resume, which got selected in Browser Stack, Dingify, Atlassian, and Adobe. Right? Multiple times it got. Selected. Selected. I'm going to show you in the end also what kind of things that I have added or the key points, how I have added objective also. So make sure you watch the video in the end and make sure you give a like and subscribe because this is going to be a value packed video for you guys where you will learn how to write a proper automation testing resume which gets selected all right so let's get started you know the first thing that we need to discuss is all about the expectation from a zero to two years of experience these expectation is somehow instead of zero to two i would say almost like four to five years if you are jumping into the automation right from manual to automation or even if you are jumping into directly to the as a fresher right these expectation that you should know about it and trust me these are very very important and in the end i'm going to give you one of the important thing which is one tool which is amazing to get your resume right and get selected okay so let's discuss about it this first of all let's discuss quickly about the expectation i think if you have zero to two years experience or even three four years right programming language is must you should have a decent knowledge of programming language if you want to jump into automation i would suggest you to go with java i suggest most of my students that go for a java because there are many many openings related to java but even if you are interested in learning python or javascript you can go ahead with this right even the c sharp also automation knowledge i think nowadays automation knowledge for whoever wants to basically switch to automation right it's a really really important and so what you can do is there are info information related to web automation tools and mobile uh, automation related tools so i think you cannot go wrong with the selenium as well as the apm so learn about the selenium concepts core concepts like how selenium works do some practice on the weekends i have discussed multiple times if you are someone who want to learn about the selenium you can watch the 30 days of automation testing with selenium where we have created our own framework also you can do that but the important thing is you should know the different tools like selenium Jenkins and the Git as well as Postman for the API testing basics. Now you will ask me like Pramod, I don't know Jenkins, Git and Postman. I think most of the tools I have already covered in my playlist. You can just go to the testing academy playlist section and you will see that. So yes, this is actually the expectation from these guys. Again, note from the zero to one. But after one year or two years, right, Selenium related Git and Postman related things, this is kind of expectation from you guys, right? People will say, ask you, okay, do you know Git? If you don't know, I mean, there is a, something you will lag behind, okay? What I recommend to all of my students is basically learn about this tool through videos and make sure you are aware of it, even if you are zero, one, two, three years of experience, okay? Again, for a automation tester, I think manual testing is important. So make sure you know the BBT techniques, which are blackboard testing techniques like boundary value, Euclidean partition, state transition, pairwise testing, and multi things like right? uh, you should be aware about the stlfc life cycle as well as the from requirement to test execution what are the different stages of stlc right software testing life cycle you should be aware of it now let's discuss about the resume guidelines okay what are the different things you need to pay attention to first of all is keywords guys keywords is the most important thing that you should be doing let me show you one of the tools which i basically discuss about it right uh, the tool is known as the job politics you can say that it's a chrome extension you can download this and what an amazing thing that you will see is uh, this is their official website it's a free tool guys what you can do is basically install it and you will see like 83 percent match right so suppose i have some resume right for example right now i have a profile engineering manager for example i want to apply for this one okay so when you have installed this so if you see i have uploaded my resume and it's saying that 24 percent is only matching right so my res resume is actually i need some updates in my resume so what's missing it's basically telling me that return verbal communication skills is missing uni skills missing sprint planning related things are missing so Software development things are little missing and there are multiple things multiple keywords he's basically talking about so make sure you are basically making it like 50 more than 50 percent is enough i think more than 50 percent is most of the time get selected but guys whatever the resume that i'm showing you yeah this one right it got selected in wingify browser stack uh Dantian, adobe and multiple big companies so again i think due to these things most of the time so again this extension for finding the perfect keyword is important but again uh what you need to do is uh Create your resume according to this format or you can use any format if you want to. You can go to the novaresume.com and there are multiple free templates available and make sure you check it with the job analytics. I think it is one of the important tool that anyone should know as a software tester, software developer or anyone you are. Okay, now let's move back to here which is keywords. I think keywords, we are clear. You have to analyze the job description, add maximum keywords, avoid the topic you don't know and focus on what should you know. 
okay and to the points with the number i think this one i have told multiple times where what you need to do is basically just discuss about the number because many times what will happen is this resume hr will see almost like 6 second max 6 second so they will just go through it okay java selenium uh, 9000 test cases okay uh, and uh, this is how they basically read okay uh, 200 apis okay uh, there are okay okay 300 test cases running okay important uh, so he's a automation tester that's how they do it Okay, so make sure you are adding the numbers. This is really, really important thing. I have told multiple times to my students, please add these things also. Interesting hope is you can basically say that, okay, I have a blog, just type numbers, right? I have created videos, you can do that. If you don't have, don't worry about it. You can basically add it according to it. Talk about numbers that I have discussed about it, right? You can basically write something like this. For example, I was responsible for increasing my test coverage from 20 to 30%. So overall, discuss about what you have done. This is really important. I have told you, right? Discuss about what you have done. This is really important. Highlight your contribution. This is most important thing in your resume. So I think you are clear with this. I think very, very easy guys. Keywords, listicles, make sure you put proper listicles, interesting hobby, talk about numbers and discuss what you have done. This is really important in your resume. And that's how I have done it. Here I have basically discussed about the responsibilities. Here I have discussed about the numbers, what I have done, right? Uh, skills, overall keywords, most of the time, right? Uh, what are my achievements, any contribution and any award. And the, all the information I have given even make sure you put your LinkedIn because LinkedIn is the most important thing. They will definitely going to check it. Most of the time we just generally check it. All right. So I think you have learned something new and here is the next part. So now jump into the directly, which is information about the project, which is very, very important for the people who have zero to one year's experience. I know you don't have much of the experience as well as you don't have any project to showcase. What you can do is basically you can do something called as weekend projects or uh, just two 30 days of challenges that I have done. In the end, generally we create some of the projects that you can add to your GitHub as well as resume, or you can show your internships, right? Make sure you add some of the frameworks as well as other things into your github your github shouldn't be empty that's what i have seen people are looking into your githubs okay and for one plus years i think it is important that i have told you right you add at least one framework to your github profile as well as to your resume that i have done i have worked on the custom frameworks right that you can do that again many people will say that uh, for uh, two zero to two years framework knowledge is not required and other things i don't know but many companies have started asking you are going to a company where you will be contributing it to it so at least this you should know about it right so how to approach the fchar one of the important interesting thing that i'm going to touch right now which is if you want to direct apply i think there is only 10 percent of chances linkedin method 30 percent chances the linkedin method is nothing but we what you will do is you will basically go to the linkedin and you will connect with the hrs so first step is connect with the hrs or the people who are working there you can ask for reference or directly send a hr a email or a video message or anything that you would like i think that will increase your chances of getting selected right references i think almost like 60 percent or generally if they call you it's like almost 80 80 percent that you will call get the calls so again the tool that i have discussed about job analytics i think it is already important uh, make sure you install it and check it out increase your percentage uh get your resume review on fiverr also this is what i have done and it works very well fiverr is a interesting platform where what you can do is uh, let me show you how you can do that fiverr is a basically a website which allow you to uh, hire someone who can basically review your resume or something like it. it's very cheap there are people who are doing it for like two thousand rupees uh, so you can convert according to your usd uh, i'm doing in indian rupees but right so 800 rupees people are basically revamping your resume working on your resume will create your resume also so you can follow up and you can buy any of the gig generally we call it gig gig is nothing but a task right and you can do the same so fiverr you have learned job analytics two two things you have learned third thing is create a resume with a nova resume.com a very interesting site if you want to create it for free you can do that create your resume according to any format i generally like this one which is mine and you can download this at sd.live slash resume. You can see this resume, which got selected in multiple times. It got selected in browser stack, Wingify, right? Even in the Techion also, it got selected. So yeah, you can uh, take a copy of this uh, and try out. Okay. I hope you have learned something new guys in this video where I have discussed about the how to write a proper resume for the people zero to two years, but uh, applicable for four plus years experience. Also, you know how to add your keyword description listicles and how you can leverage the different tools also. All right. And I hope you are clear with this. I know this is very interesting video. If you have learned something new, just give a like for this video and make sure you comment in this video part two. I will definitely create a live resume for one of you or one of you, my subscriber. Okay. Just type part two in the comment and I will definitely do that. Okay. Where we will create a live resume for our subscribers and we will review our resumes also. All right. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you have learned something and make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.
Bye guys.